There's a town in America where it's still 1950. I mean, these are current photos taken recently at a place called Elgin Park. Modern cars are not even allowed in Elgin Park. Indeed, the whole purpose of the place is to transport you back to a simpler time. Elgin Park was conceived and built by a 60-year-old unemployed designer from Boston named Michael Paul Smith. Michael never really intended for Elgin Park to become a tourist attraction. That just happened. My goal was just to sort of have it for myself. He really built the whole town just for him to look at. How many buildings? I have 15. And how many cars? 300. 300? How can anyone, let alone an unemployed designer, afford that? It's actually not as expensive as you might think. It only exists in, uh, in miniature and in my mind and in my heart too. By combining miniature foregrounds okay. with real backgrounds. Actually, it's really perfect. <laughs> Michael is able to produce extraordinarily convincing photographs. Okay. At least when we're not here, he can. These are great. So far, he's created more than 200 pictures, which have attracted more than 20 million visitors to the web. Some think it's a real place and want directions, but most are just smitten with the sentiment Michael captures using nothing more than that $75 sure shot camera. A French fashion photographer wrote to me and he says, I want to know your lenses, you know, a fabulous blah, blah, blah. And I told him what it was, what the camera was. And he wrote back once and he says, you lie. And, <laughs> and that was it. The scale. Michael says the secret is actually in the details. In this picture, is inside no. this house. Barely see her right in there. On the wall back in there. The man's even got miniature mud. And this is the perfect thing, the dirt that comes out of the vacuum. The only thing noticeably missing from his pieces are people, and that's by design. He wants folks to be able to picture themselves in the photos. Many take him literally photoshopping themselves into the scenes, like a time traveler's postcard that reads, having a great time, wish you were then. It's Americana, but they're eating it up everywhere. Michael says response is pouring in from Russia, South Africa, even Thailand. I can see why. That is very cool. It's cool. Yeah. Better than going back to my 73 Maverick. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs>